Grace has been flying around the internet like Southwest semi-annual $49 flights. You need to learn what that actually means before you just go giving it all willy-nilly. Giving people grace, you're giving them too much access. You'll get grace when grace is applicable. As someone that has come up with, you know, more religious definitions of grace and what that looks like and what that means, it's giving gentle parenting, grown folk, interaction edition, and I'm not feeling it. Yes is yes, no is no, you know better. I said what I said, at your big old age, you may not know it all, but you know better. I am growing to be a primer believer and you can't love people out of accountability. And I'm not saying be hard, harsh, and judgmental, and cold, but I'm saying let's be real. If you are crossing me in a way that makes me uncomfortable, and I come to you and I share, hey, I don't like that. I, I didn't like how this made me feel. I'm willing to work with you on a way we can maybe communicate moving forward or do things moving forward that doesn't have to result in that. Are you willing to work with me on that? And that's and to completely dismissed. That's not a time to give grace. That's a time to hold the line. That's a time to stand on business. Does that make sense? I know it does, but I'm, I'm really asking for you. Kids, kids, early is two three they already be developing they skill on how to slick a slick coming out the womb slick kids be coming out the womb trying to figure out how can i avoid getting in trouble how can i how what, what do i need to say to avoid punishment or consequence it don't take us as human beings very long to figure out how to lie <laughs> how to twist things around a little bit and how to avoid consequences so don't tell me oh you know can be getting patient can i give grace we're giving accountability, okay? You'll get grace when grace is applicable. Right now, you need to be told a hard no. You need to be given a hard boundary and <laughs> your options on if you choose to stay on the right side of it or to cross it, period. And let me also say that when it comes to giving grace to ourselves, I know it can be a very delicate dance trying to figure out how to hold yourself accountable while not being too hard on yourself. But I'm telling you, it's like there's an appropriate amount of grace we can give ourselves as we hold ourselves accountable and correct our behavior. Don't be giving your girl self grace for shit you not finna change. Don't do that because you're not giving yourself grace. You're giving yourself excuses. And you're better than that. And sometimes in those moments, it's not necessarily grace that we need, but it's greater tools for us to utilize to help us succeed in these areas. So sometimes, you know, it's okay to chuck it up and say, I, I slacked up here. I definitely dropped the ball. Without being overly harsh, demeaning, or cruel to yourselves, because we ain't doing that either. What can I do or what do I need to prevent this in the future? Versus getting hung up on, you know, I'm going to give myself grace and not have any kind of systems or implementations in place to prevent and pre protect you from it happening again. And to take it away from you, you know, letting people cross your boundaries and denying them the opportunity to change. I want to bring it even deeper and further back to you, what you're denying yourself. You're denying yourself your own sense of self-worth, self-respect self-efficacy aka trust in yourself when you say i'm not going to allow xyz or i'm not going to do xyz and you dishonor that you don't follow that you're creating a narrative in your mind that not only do you not take yourself seriously but you're showing other people that they don't have to take you seriously either i know that can be hard to hear and hard to say but it is what it is and it needs to be hard because if it sounds sweet and it sounds perfect and it sounds nice and we're just gonna give ourselves grace we're not going to learn we're not going to change it it needs to sound exactly the way it sounds jacked up because it is and i just want to be sure to tie in how i am marrying the inappropriate use of grace in situations where really accountability and boundaries need to be implemented instead because like i said there's a time and a place for grace there's a time and a place to you know pull back and say you know what 
it's all right. You know what? I'm going to cover that and we're going to move past it. It's okay. It's not applicable to use that when you need to stand up and get some things in order. I want to end with this. Begin to see yourself counting as a person just as much as the people that you like to extend grace and patience to. And just see how that begins to change your mindset about how you treat yourself and who you are. So yeah, that was pretty much my rant on um, the internet's version of grace and just setting boundaries and, you know, even teach yourself and discover, you know, what are my boundaries? How do I set boundaries? Um, what do I need? What do I, what do I want? What do I care about? Because I do believe once you have a clear definition within yourself of what is okay and what isn't okay for you, it becomes easier for you to actually set boundaries as well as stand on them and not feel like you're just trying to um, love people out of accountability. And remember, you can be a little bit of a lot of things and still be you. It's called nuance. Yeah, I'm gonna make that my thing. That's my thing now, yeah. Okay, bye girl, bye.